Back at Jackie Robinson Stadium, UCLA with a series win today over Oregon State, 9-7 to here in the deciding game three. And we are joined by the second baseman, junior Chase Strump, the preseason All-American Chase. What a game today. You had a home run to left field. You scored twice in your four at-bats. Walk me through uh, that two-run shot. Um, you know, I've, I've been struggling recently, kind of putting balls in play, especially fastballs, um, kind of get behind in counts. Um, so today I was just trying to really stay aggressive. Um, you know, I struck out the bat before, but, uh, you know, try to come back that next at bat and, you know, look for elevation, hunt elevation. Um, luckily got a good pitch to hit and got it, you know, put it in fair play this time. Um, and so it found its way over the fence. So that felt good for sure. Well, what's been going on this year? I mean, listen, obviously you guys are one of the best teams in the country and you have played like it. Um, albeit that, you know, Kreidler is one of the that crew that came in. You, mm -hmm. Tolia, and Kreidler came in. Kreids has, has had a, a great start, uh, but you and Tolia ha have not been how we know you can be. I mean, a, a game like today, how important it is it? I mean, you leave the yard, and just like that, your buddy Tolly, he leaves the yard. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think a lot of the times we feed off each other. Um, you know, we just like you said, me and him have kind of been struggling a little bit. And luckily, kryler has been huge for us, um, picking us up where we kind of lack, you know, riders in scoring position or what it be. Um, but, yeah, today was kind of just getting back to the roots of just competing and, you know, finding a way to win. Um, me and Mike have tried to stay with that approach the whole season, regardless of our ups or downs. Um, and so today we were kind of able to succeed a little bit more. Um, and I think we, it's just good for us to feed off each other with that energy and then cry there as well, keeping that positive energy. Um, and then I think we showed a little bit more of what our offense is capable of today. So, um just trying to stick with that mindset um, throughout the year and see where, it hap see where it goes. Well, I know John Sa Savage, head coach, is not going to let your heads get big at all, but there's a pretty good chance you guys are going to be a number one team in the country. I mean, talk about how John keeps you guys level-headed, and, 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 and it's not what happened today. It's what happens tomorrow. Right. Um, he keeps it very process oriented. You know, every day of practice, he says today is the most important day. You know, um, we want to be a really good practice team. He, you know, harps on that a lot, and we all believe in that. Um, we believe, you know, good being, being a good practice team kind of carries over to the game, and then once he gets to the game, you know, like you said, let the dogs out, just kind of play a little bit. Um, so I think keeping that, you know, you know, the priorities straight and kind of practice first, then game, you know, keeps us from getting ahead of each other. And um, especially, you know, with all the rankings here and there, I, um, I know a lot of guys here don't pay attention to it. Um, you know, hopefully it turns out well for us. But I think it's just back to being process oriented and, you know, just not worrying about the result is just how we get there. You know, the, the things we do right getting there. And if we stick to that the whole season, I think we'll be where we want to be.